Here we have been given a triangle construction problem that of constructing ABC such that its perimeter is 120 millimeters, its altitude is 25 millimeters and the angle at the vertex is 40 degrees. We are going to start by plotting the vertex C at any arbitrary position. From that we will draw a line of symmetry, not the line of symmetry of the triangle but the line of symmetry for the construction just to make things look nice. Then we are going to plot the angle 40 degrees equally about that line of symmetry so 20 degrees on the left and right so that now we can plot the loci of A and B. So A is going to be somewhere on this line, B is going to be somewhere on that line. But these are kind of infinite lines. Let's narrow it down to some specific segments of these lines. So think of this perimeter as a loop of string 120 millimeters long and you are going to shape that loop using three pegs say A, B and C so that it assumes the shape of a triangle. How far can you go using a loop 120 millimeters long? Well the farthest you can go is half of it 60 mm by folding the loop onto itself and therefore on this line A cannot be farther than 60 millimeters from C. Similarly on this line C will be 60 or less millimeters away from C. So let's plot these kind of limits on A and B. They can at the most be 60 millimeters from it. So the extreme positions of A and B I have marked as A dash and B dash. Now let us think of the base. Can the base be here from A dash to B dash? Obviously not because we have consumed the length 60 mm here and length 60 mm here so that 120 is all used up. There is nothing left to create a base out of and therefore to create a base we will have to carve out some length from this side, carve out some length from the other side and then fashion a base out of it. Here is what I mean. We are going to take this red segment from locus of A, we are going to take the green segment here from locus of B and we are going to fold them in so that they become collinear and meet in this point T in a precise manner. Of course this won't happen unless you are very lucky because in general two arbitrary lengths may overlap or produce a gap. But there is an interesting property of circles and its tangents that will help us do that. And if we do this then the triangle formed will of course be having a perimeter 120 because this whole length from which we created this triangle were adding up to 60 plus 60 120 mm. So imagine a circle which is centered on this line of symmetry. This line of symmetry is actually the angle bisector of our 40 degree angle. So it will be capable of being tangential to both those lines, the loci of A and B simultaneously. In fact, there are infinitely many such circles and there will be one such circle which is not only tangential to both these loci but will also pass through A prime and B prime. Here is that circle. So when we have drawn that circle, A dash and B dash become the points of tangency of these two tangents and then there is a property. If you draw two tangents to a circle from an external point, then both the tangents will have the same length. In fact, we can see it here 60 millimeters and 60 millimeters. Now let us see how that helps us achieve our cut and fold trick. So here we have two line segments. Both are starting from the same point external to the circle. One of them is tangent to the circle and we want the other one to have the same length as this tangent. How to do that? Make this also a tangent to the same circle because then there will be two tangents coming from the same point to a given circle. Similarly on the other side we can make this a tangent to that circle so it will have the same length as this tangent coming from the same point B. So in general we must have a base which is tangent to this circle. Then we will satisfy even the perimeter condition. Now since we have satisfied only two out of three conditions, the perimeter and angle, the solution is still not unique. For example here is one more solution that satisfies the two conditions, one more, one more, one more. In fact there will be infinitely many such triangles possible. We have to choose one of them 
so that this base or this tangent is at a distance 25 the altitude from this vertex C so we have a line and we want it to be at a fixed distance from a point the distance between a line and a point is measured perpendicular to the line so think of something that gives you a fixed distance from a point like a circle its radius is that fixed distance and perpendicular to radius that's the tangent so we are going to draw a circle with C as the center 25 millimeters as the radius and we are going to make this line tangent to this so our base is tangent to this circle and it is tangent to that circle as well so we are basically going to draw a common tangent to both these circles if you want to know how to construct a common tangent click this link but this is our uh, direction of the base so we will extend this tangent up to the locus of A and we can complete the triangle so this is point B C we already know A we just got and voila Here a quick recap of the construction start with vertex C draw a line of symmetry plot an angle 40 degrees around it to get the loci of A and B mark half the perimeter on both of them then from A dash drop a perpendicular to the line of symmetry to get the center O of this circle tangent to both the loci then draw another circle with C as a center and radius equal to altitude and draw a common tangent extend if necessary to get these points A and B and complete the triangle.